At the turn of 20th century, Crompton Greaves introduced the first electric fan in India. And about two decades later, in 1930, Usha came out with the first indigenous ceiling fan. Since then, the humble blades have been spinning in our rooms, unhindered by the winds of change that brought in, first, the room coolers and then the air conditioners. Despite the rapid adoption of ACs which have made inroads in villages too, ceiling fans didn't lose their edge. Technological and aesthetical add-ons only made it more relevant. Fan is something, even if you have air conditioner at home, you can't work without a fan. Because once the temperature has come down, let's say 23, 24 degrees centigrade, the fan is not required, the AC is not required. At that time, a fan can operate and can give you the comfort at that level. Once the humidity is out and temperature is down, then if you are going to continue to use air conditioner, you are wasting a lot of electricity. And there are certain times when in the room you still require, you don't require air conditioning once the temperature comes down. So people use air conditioner in the extreme times and the balance time they operate the fan. So demand for fan cannot come down at any stage of time in India. According to the data by the International Market Analysis Research and Consulting Group, or IMARC, 41.2 million ceiling fans were sold in India in 2022. Looking forward, the reports predict that with a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 2.3%, this number will touch 47.5 million by 2028. The ceiling fan industry has also gone through an evolution in the last 10 years. Before 2012, an average Indian household used to have three 80-watt fans and each of them used about one unit of electricity in an hour. But with the advent of brushless direct current motor or BLDC, fans got more energy efficient and less noisy. Now, a fan with BLDC uses only about 20 to 30 watts, saving 200 rupees of electricity bill per ceiling fan in a month. Atomberg is one of the several startups which have popularized the BLDC generation of fans in India. And most of the innovation in the sector followed a pattern of startups bringing new elements to the ceiling fans that are mass produced later by the bigger fan companies like Crompton, Havels, and Bajaj. The innovations in ceiling fans did not just stop there. Fans with LED lights, remote controls and air purifying systems followed to provide more comfort and utility. Ceiling fans now have become a part of home decor as well and manufacturers are producing more aesthetically pleasing designs. There are different experiments that, that you could see uh, uh, brands are doing which is you know maybe use of plastics in fan the blades are made of plastic to make it silent so when you use plastics you can give different colors so there are different uh, um, you know kind of color uh, finish and materials which are being used uh, is there uh, if, I, if I have to use the terminology which are making the fans more uh, decor friendly and, um, uh, and these are some of the innovations that I can talk of yes of course there is an introduction of electronic fans as well, which you can control by remote. There are fans which now integrate IoT as well. So you can control it by your various voice commands. You can, you can give voice commands that can, it can speak. That entire fan can speak to your other, uh, uh, you know, electronically connected devices at home and can do self-diagnosis. The latest technological innovation in the fans are IoT or Internet of Things features like voice and automatic temperature controls. A range of fans with IoT features can be connected to mobile phones, tablets and laptops through Wi-Fi. But the innovation comes with a cost. Now, a normal fan costs two to three thousand rupees, and a BLDC fan costs four to five thousand rupees. Then there are smart fans with features like remote control, LED lights, IoT features in the five thousands to fifteen thousands range. Also, there are luxurious ceiling fans with intricate designs which cost more than twenty thousand rupees. So, so see, see the response that we are getting on our premium products, which are 3,000 rupees and up to 12,000, 15,000 rupees. The demand is, is, is growing there. Because see, India is a very aspirational market. So if you look at other analogous industries like cars, consumer electronics, uh, mobiles, you know, people, people are constantly evolving. So even for, even for brands like Apple or even new, new age car companies like Kia and all, they have, they've done pretty well out here. Why they have done so well is that there is 
a consumer class which is looking for that kind of a solution they are ready to pay for it if they see a value in in that you know they have a, a self persona which they see in that product which and fan particularly is no more an item which has a functional utility it is also an item which gives a decorative uh, decorative uh, you know aspect to your home so it is a key part of that your entire home your entire personality that you are so i think that's where it is changing with the average temperature rising across all the geographies of the country fans have now become an almost all season product they are not just complementing coolers and acs by evenly spreading the cooling but adding to the decor of the room too and this year the government has also made it mandatory for ceiling fan makers to display b star ratings this will lead to more energy efficient fans clearly fans in india are getting cooler If you like this video share it and subscribe to Business Standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram Telegram and LinkedIn